Greetings, greetings, greetings once again my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to another video Thank you all for checking this one out I tell you my people, Trinibago Night Riders It seems as if this is the team that everybody wants a piece of And the St. Lucia Kings, they will get first go at them today as the two teams are set to face each other at 10 a.m. Gonna talk a little bit about the two teams. Uh, we're also gonna take a look at Gurikish Moti and Imran Tahir. Gonna speak about what they had to say after their convincing victory over the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. So just give a listening ear until the end. Go in the comment section, let me know what you think and make sure that you also leave a like if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please go right ahead and subscribe also i will be giving you my pick three <laughs> you know you know how i like to do, do it you know just go and give you three players that i just randomly think go, go and perform well in this game all right so let's just kick things off with goody kishmoti and imran tahir and then we'll go into the saint kids and um into the the, the trinibago night riders versus saint lucia so the Guyana Amazon Warriors they were able to secure a convincing victory over the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. I think it was yesterday that I did that report, so don't need to go through everything. Now at the end of the game, Imran Tahir and Gurikesh Moti spoke with the media. Um, Moti first, you know, he was saying that um, the wicket was really good out there, it was good for bowling. So all he had to do was just bow the ball in the right areas and he was able to get some result he also spoke about um bowling alongside imran tahir saying that you know he's happy to be playing under him as a captain and he's happy that he's able to bowl with him as a spinning partner saying that you know he's learning a lot because imran tahir has a lot of experience and working with him you know he thinks that um that is good so you know moti was just here saying all of that and Took the opportunity also to say shout out to all the fans, big up to the fans that um, that are coming out to support the say uh, the, the, the Ghana Amazon Warriors team. So that was good Kishmoti. Now Imran Tahir, the captain, he spoke after the game and you know he was saying that all the players know their roles. You know, he he he, he spoke about Moti saying that he, he's pretty good, he's good. And he has been with the team for a while now, you know, and, and they back him every time because he's that good. Um, he also spoke about, uh, also spoke about, well, even before I move on, you know, he was saying that he, he himself and Moti, they have uh, very important overs to bowl in the middle overs. You understand? In the middle part of the game. So, you know, he's looking, for, he's definitely looking forward to, you know, continuous partnering with Moti to get the team um, in good positions. As it relates to how they bowl their overs throughout different games. Um, where the batting is concerned, you know, he said that they have a, a unit that everybody can contribute. They have a few all rounders that they can, that they can call upon at any time. You know, he pointed out, um, he made spe special reference to, um, I'm talking about specialist batsmen now, uh, She Hope and Shemran Hitzmeyer. You know, saying these are two guys that know their roles. And they have the quality they are good enough so you know it's all about just going out there people understanding what needs to be done and just getting it done because according to him the players know their roles and the players are good enough you know so that is what he's saying you know he's saying that the, the all-rounders you can call on the all-rounders at any time to make sure you know to, to, to contribute in whatever area so uh, just wanted to highlight that didn't get a chance to touch on it uh, after after the game Alright, going into today's game now, my people, I think we have a double header. So, the first game we have the St. Lucia Kings versus the Trinibago Knight Riders. So, that is the one that I'm going to focus on. And then later on, I probably can talk a little bit about the other one. We are, um, you know, the, 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 the other game. I think that one's going to be played at 7. Uh, I think we're going to have the Talawas versus the Warriors. Um, this time around or no not the Talawas it's St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots again versus Barbados Royals So that is what is going to happen in the 7 p.m. But taking center stage this morning, 
is going to be the Saint, uh, the, the Saint, Saint, uh, Saint Lucia Kings versus the Trinibago Knight Riders. And let me just remind you of the squads here. So for the St. Lucia Kings, um, they have Colin Monroe, they have uh, Faf Duplessis, they have uh, Kimani Milius, uh, they have Banuka, they have uh, Sean, that's Williams, they have Matthew Ford, Rashawn Primus, Ruston Chase, Sadarak Descartes, they have Sikandra Raza, uh, they also have Johnson Charles, Leonardo Julian, Alzar Joseph, Chris Soul is also there. They have Jair McAllister, Javier Royal, McKenny Clark, and Peter Hatsoglu. Um, so those are the players that are in the squad for the um, for the St. Lucia and St. Lucia Kings. Now moving over to Trinibago Knight Riders team, they have Mark Dial, Martin Guptill, Tim David. Not sure if he's already there. I'm assuming that he's going to be ready for this game. Um, they have Andre Russell, Dwayne Bravo. Uh, Karen po uh, Karen Pollard uh, They have Sunil Narang, they have Chadwick Walton Lorcan Tucker They have Nicholas Puran, Akil Hussein, Ali Khan Jaden Carmichael is also there They have Jaden Seals They have Kadeem Alain They have um, Patharana They have Terence Hines Tom Curran And Wakar Salmakel Alright, so those are the players that make up the Trinibago Knight Riders team now, at the top of the video, I said that Trinibago team seems to be the team that everybody wants a piece of. And my reason for saying that, if you follow the social media, the different social media platforms, you know, you see quite a few people talking about all the, uh, the, the, the quote-unquote big-name players in the Trinibago Knight Riders team. You know, people are saying that, you know, when you, when you have these sort of teams that is overpowered, you know, people usually like to, like to go against those teams. So that is what is happening in the case here. Um, quite a few guys that would have uh, played at the international level, at the franchise level, and not only play, but you know they were extremely good at it. You know, um, so people, some on the other hand, some are saying that listen, we're not too worried about all of these quote unquote big name players because they are seen as citizens. That that is what a lot of people are saying. So that is why, you know, this Trinibago Knight Rider team, uh, so many people want a piece of them. Uh, you can imagine how much of a fuss it's going to be when the Trinibago Knight Riders and the Amazon Warriors get an opportunity to, opportunity to play a full um, 40 over game. Um, you know, that, that's going to be very interesting. But the likes of Sunil Narayan, Pollard, Dwayne Bravo, Russell, um, Hussein, you understand? Um, and all of these guys, the, the, you know, it, 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 it sounds like a strong team, but you cannot sleep on the St. Lucia team, you know, all what is going on, you can't sleep on the St. Lucia team because Captain Faf Duplessis and um, Rustin Chase, you know, Johnson Charles, these are all guys that have um, ex very good experience at the highest level. And, you know, you have people like Raza and them guys that are, that are good, you know, so let us, let us see how that will turn out. Um, in terms of my pick three, as I as I said, you know, have three players that I like to pick from each um, each team that I think is gonna do well. Once again, for the stats um, fanatics, those who like to hear stats and wondering why I'm just selecting people, this is just um, random selection. This is nothing where I'm comparing stats to see who will perform. This is me just predicting something before before the game. That's all it is. There is nothing to it. Um, Azari Joseph. Now, there are a lot of poor hitters in the Trinibago Knight Riders team, but quite a few of them over their career, throughout their careers, have found um, wanting to short pitch deliveries. Uh, not saying that it's a good idea for Azari to bowl a lot of short pitch deliveries, but if he's able to get some, a couple that is well directed to the body, you know, a couple of these guys um, will probably uh, be pinned back. You understand? You, 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 most of them you don't want to give them too many ro too much rooms to free up themselves and, and free up their arms so Alzari Joseph I'm, I'm picking Alzari Joseph to, to do well in this one you know um, very rarely I go with, with, with two of the same kind so Chris Soul if he's in the team I'm picking him to crank the pace up also and, and, and get a couple of wickets you know probably they will go for runs based on the fact that they are bowling this fast 
but I am, I am expecting them to, 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 to put a little bit of pressure on people like um, Russell, you know, people like uh, 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 Pollard and, and, and these guys, you know, so um, those are the ones that I, that I am thinking will, 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 will do well. Um, you know, quite a few right-handers on this team. Uh, I didn't even remember, to, I, I don't remember if I called Colin Monroe for, for St. Lucia. Um, quite a few uh, right-handers on this team right here. So, you know, um, we're going to go Kyrie Pierre. We're going to go Kyrie Pierre. So those are the two guys, the three guys. Um, you want to see that as actually select three bowlers, you know, so it's as if I'm thinking no batsman will do anything good for St. Lucia, which is not the case. I am I am back in Colin Monroe to, to get some. I don't know if he's actually in, but I'm seeing his name. So, um, you know, backing him to get some runs there. But those are the those are the guys that I think going to make the main difference for Saint uh, Saint Lucia. You understand? In terms of the Trinidad Knight Riders team, no. Um, it's very hard to not select uh, Nicholas Puran. Nicholas Puran is going to be good. You understand? Um, also, Sunil Narayan's four overs will be crucial. You know, Faf Duplessis as a right hander will have to play him and will have to play him well. So, you know, Nicholas Poor and, and uh, Sunel Narain and who else am I backing? Who else am I going with? Uh, so those are the guys that I have there so far. And I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go... Uh, let me see. Akil Hussein. Let, let's let's just go with Akil Hussein. A couple of the other quote unquote big name players, um, they, they won't do anything in this game. So <laughs> gonna leave it right there so for now. The aim is that um I, I, I will do a do a live. So just stay tuned to the channel, make sure your notification bells are on. So once I pop up, you know you will be notified. Big up on yourself.